Hello friends, I'm back again with my PT lesson. I'm sorry that I kept you waiting for a long time, but it's here again. So today uh, I'm going to talk about uh, three important things in speaking in VT Academic. Uh, content, fluency and pronunciation. And these problems, uh, basically the questions like whether content is important or what kind of fluency you should be maintaining or how much pronunciation is important, these questions will be answered today. Um, this is with Wasi, those who know me, they already know. I am the official PT trainer at the PT Test Center in Bangladesh and I scored 90 out of 90 in all modules of PTE. So anything I say, that will be from a PT specialist, so you can take it for granted because these are tested and experimented. Let's talk about content first. Uh, it's a good news for you that uh, content in speaking is not at all important but of course some content has to be there but you don't have to bother about the content other than read aloud where you have to read a passage there whatever you have the content you have to read that properly although a few hesitations occasionally not so much or even if you say occasionally omit one or two words they will cut marks but that is not that significant but in read aloud you have to read the passage meaningfully with a great fluency and good pronunciation but uh, other than this uh, say repeat sentence of course you have to repeat the sentence as it is but even if you're missing a few words uh, and maintaining excellent fluency and majority part of the sentences every time you will get almost close to 100 percent marks uh, that might be even 80 85 or 75 something like that so without worrying about the about repeating the whole sentence uh, of course, you should try to repeat the whole sentence to, to get excellent mark. But take it for granted that whatever you are saying for repeat sentence, you are getting marks. So don't get disappointed because many people, what they do in the test, if they miss one or two or three words in one sentence, they get disappointed so much that they don't feel like trying for the next one. But you never, you should not give up on this account because every word is giving you marks uh, to some extent. And if I talk about the content in uh, describe image and written lecture, they are not really important. Like you will have an image, like say a map or a graph. Say in the graph you have 20%, you wanted to say 20% but by mistake you said 2%. Do not correct. But keep going. Don't even bother about the mistake. Yeah, you, you may have a chance to correct but don't repeat the same sentence or correct immediately. But even if you're saying 2% instead of 20, you are not losing that or at all any marks. Maintain the fluency, the flow of your speech. That has to be done. Because without the fluency, correction will not help you. In fact, correction will cost you marks. You lose marks on that. Retail lecture. Of course, you have to repeat or retell the lecture, basically the summary of the lecture. But... Uh, you will be happy to know that even a few points from the lecture and if you can just mention the topic and maintain an excellent fluency throughout the speech will ensure you 100% or 90% marks. So content, you don't have to cover everything from the lecture. Even, even if you're a bit wrong in terms of information but you're taking information from the lecture fluently, that's going to be okay for you. Don't worry about that. Fluency is the key. So. Content for re describe image and re retail lecture don't matter that much, but uh, uh, you have to try to cover a bit. But accuracy, don't worry about that. A few mistakes in terms of information is fine. Uh, don't break your fluency. That is the first condition. Answer short question is the least important task in speaking, but here the content means you have to give the right answer. Of course, it has to be correct, otherwise you don't get any marks. But there is no negative marking. And I, let me give you a trick on this. If you're confused between two words that you want to say for the answer uh, and that's an open-ended question, there is no option given, then you can say the two words with a gap. For example, lift, elevator. Don't say lift or elevator, that will be one word. Lift, elevator. So the correct word will be taken. And uh, if there are options, you have to choose the right option. There is no way. And there is a myth some uh, people say that if you cannot give the answer repeat the question no there is no use of this i mean you don't get marks for repeating the question 
because the question has already been asked by the computer. Okay, so that's content. Now coming to fluency. Fluency is the most important part in speaking. That's you have. That's the thing you have to keep in mind. And what is fluency? It's a natural pace na with a natural speed. Many people think that they must be fast, very fast, in order to score hundred percent or excellent. No, that's a myth. You can be fast, but remember, if you are fast, then you have to maintain the same fluency throughout the whole test speaking. But it's not a mandatory stuff. Your natural fluency is the right key, but the fluency is something that you have to keep talking. That is fluency. You maintain the natural speech, talking, 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 just the way I'm doing right now, without hesitation. You have to keep talking without hesitation at, an, at a fixed pace. That will be your natural pace. If you are speaking fast, then you have to maintain that fast pace throughout the whole test. Fast, slow, fast, slow, medium, it's not going to work. But yeah, being slow is not a good idea. Being naturally fluent is the best idea. So those who worry that I'm not, I can't speak too fast, it's not a problem. You just maintain your natural fluency, maintaining your speech one after another without hesitation. That's it. You get the whole mark. And pronunciation is a factor, of course. But as I said, fluency is the most important. But pronunciation comes as the second most important factor in speaking. Many people don't get good scores in pronunciation uh, in speaking because of their bad pronunciation. In that case, you have to work on your pronunciation, taking a time, taking a bit of time. And then your if you maintain good fluency and improve your pronunciation, that's best. You just be fluent in speaking. That's it. So over what is the conclusion of this uh, lesson? That in speaking, fluency is the key, excellent fluency at a natural pace, clear voice, you don't have to shout or scream, that's fine. And after that pronunciation comes along, but good pronunciation, excellent fluency, you're getting the good marks. So thank you, if you like this uh, video, do like it and share. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel, because more lessons are coming up very soon. And I'll see you there.